Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Street Fighter 1 Critic Quest. This time we are playing as Adon. Uh, I don't like Adon very much, but I'm gonna play as him, so whatever. Mr. Knife Nose himself. So there you go. Oh my god, really? We're already starting with fucking it up. Anyway, so he's got this rapid punch thing. Uh, much like Joe. He's got Jaguar Kick. Which I feel I'm gonna have to use the, uh, the heavy version exclusively. Am I allowed to have moves in this fucking game? Oh yeah, and he also has this uh, little kick thing too. You are too weak for. Me. Yeah, Adon's voice in this game doesn't make me want to fucking die, but at the same time, it just leads him to be boring. So, so like, it's like pick your fucking poison. Okay, I nearly killed him with the super right there. But it's fine, we killed him with the punch. There you go. Punches. My existence is Fury Unleashed. You can't hope to contain me. Okay. So I've just gotta try to listen for it. Okay, it's Alpha Eel? I saw him blocking it coming. Okay. I, I can't, I can't understand what he's saying. I can't. I'm not even gonna bother trying unless something makes sense. I mean, you cannot hope to contain me, kind of, sort of makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not, I know it's the first time you see him, but it's not Adon. That's the problem. It just doesn't feel like Adon. Oh, I showed him with the last kick in order to get the punches. Okay. Your destiny now is to lie here at my feet. That could be the case. Also, they hit a uh, quotation or or apostrophe as opposed to period. Oops. <laughs> Found a spelling error or a grammatical error. Rather. Even though that is seem to be a thing that I'm good at finding. Yeah, those are all of his moves, by the way. Oh no, he does? Okay, he has that. Okay. There you go. So we got Super Jaguar Kick and then the Ranbu. There you go. Adon is kind of... Nope. I, I can't. I can't. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's saying. What a fucking jump kick. So, uh, and just for the record, no, I do not want Adon in Street Fighter V. I know I've said that already, but Adon can go suck a fat fucking dick. Okay? In every game past Street Fighter 1, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. He's annoying. He, he serves Sagat no... He gives Sagat no justice whatsoever. He's a fucking waste of space. He's a waste of goddamn space. That, that's what I feel Adon is. 
Adon is nothing but a useless, pathetic piece of waste of space. And gives Muay Thai no credibility. Much like I said during the, um... I don't know if I said it during... I don't know what video I said it during. I think it might have been KOF 94. But I said, is Japan just against... Does Japan have a thing against Muay Thai? Okay. Yeah, because it either seems like they make their, uh... The people who practice and... Who are Thai and people who study under Muay Thai seem either stupid or an a or like an asshole. Like what the fuck? Because both because Sagat, I mean the only one that has sort of a shred of dignity is Sagat. And that's only because his motive is just to fuck just to face Ryu. And even then, you can stretch it out into revenge anyway, so you could seem that in some form of dignity. Although I do like to sit, give Sagat the benefit of the doubt. I mean, he abandoned Shadaloo for that very reason. He didn't care about anything else besides getting that m match again, which is probably what his arc in Street Fighter V is going to be about, just him getting retribution. But you know what? Let's not talk about it during this episode, and let's wait until I get to fucking Sagat, okay? And this- okay. You've got a lot to learn before you beat me, try again, kid. <laughs> there you go. Alright, Lee. Jesus Christ, your fucking legs are huge. If you don't land those jabs, they're useless as fuck. Adon is pretty good at chain combos. Hey up, hey up. <laughs> Just give him a good old punch in the chest. <laughs> yeah, it really does sound like they did all the voice acting with with their tongues shoved like what what the voice acting in this game sounds like is not only is it muffled to hell like like I saw a video where it was the voice of all the US presidents and some of the early ones are so fucking muffled that you can barely even understand what they're trying to say what the Oh, Lee does have a kick special. It's an aerial maneuver. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Okay. So you learned about something about the character that I'm not playing. You know what? That That's what you're supposed to do. You're not only supposed to study your uh the character you're playing, but also your opponent, too. So there you go. Let's make discoveries about everybody, shall we? Except for the fact that Ryu has shoes in this game. That is nothing new. Don't even pretend that you think that's a new thing, because it isn't. Wow, that's a, n a fixed nine-hit combo? Seriously? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, so basically, not only is it combined with that fucking um, muffledness from before, but then they have their fucking tongues sticking out. You know, without spitting everywhere. That, that's probably not a good idea. But, you know... That Capcom was okay with that. 
We're like, yeah, no, this game can be still ta be taken seriously. Motherfuckers. My sister is very unleashed. You cannot hope to contain me. Shut up, Adon. It's a joke. He was the beginning of my last capture session for this game. Actually, yes, it was. Because I did... I did Ryu, Retsu, and Lee all in one go. And then, you know, fell asleep. Because for Lee, I was too goddamn tired. Yeah, that's why I didn't figure out the fucking kick special. Because I was too fucking tired to give a shit. Okay, so if you land the Jaguar kick, you get locked up. Alright. Oh. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. It's fine. But, uh, anyway, then the next capture session was Joe and Birdie, because... I tried to cram in all three series, and I realized, or not all three. I'm, I'm only doing these two at a time. Okay, I'm only doing a Street Fighter One and KOF ninety four two at a time. You know, well, I mean, one, two games at a time, rather. There you go. Yeah, they didn't know the lie he had made. You know, Ken. Alright, so we've beaten Ryu, we've beaten Ken, we did Retsu, we did Geki. Alright, so we just have, um, Birdie and Eagle left. Or, not, no, not Birdie and Eagle. We have Birdie and Gen left after this. Ow! Fuck you, Ken. Motherfucker! Ken, could you, like, not be a douchebag? Like, wow, that does no fucking damage. It does no damage. I'd rather just use, a uh, fucking normals. Hey, speaking of pre- speaking of presidents! <laughs> the fucking irony that Mount Rushmore is in this game, I was talking about. So yeah, it made sense after all that. After all that out there, yeah, after all that, it made sense. There you go. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Dragon Ball, I need Dragon Ball, please. Oh, you can chain light kick into that special. No. <laughs> Just punch him in the face. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, Kido. <laughs> Alright, birdie. So we got Gen after this. Oh boy, it's blue alpha birdie. How interesting. I decided to go with the original color Adon because it actually looks better than the um, recreation of the alpha color. I mean, I went with alpha birdie because I prefer the color tone of alpha birdie, but honestly, I like this color scheme for Adon better. So, I gave... I guess to give, uh, give, give Street Fighter 1 the credit it deserves. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't deserve any credit. What, what's really weird is that Idon, uh, Idon, what the fuck? That's the weird, ver the weird, uh, uh, gosh dang, uh, what, what word am I trying to come up with? I don't know. The weird dream child between Idol from Killer Instinct and Adon. Uh, yeah, no, it looks like Adon has eye patches on for some reason. Except he doesn't wear those. 
Because, you know, that's the wrong fucking character. <laughs> and that's from the original game. The Mugen guys, not, the guys behind this Mugen and nothing behind it. They didn't, they didn't draw the characters like this, except for the alpha colors. That's the only sprite work they really did. You got a lot to learn before you beat me. There you go. Damn it. Alright, whose jump kicks are better? Actually, that Jaguar kick can be an anti air. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, they were so close to getting a uh, Akuma symbol right there. Come on, even King of Fighters could give us that symbol. Well, actually, no, this is Ch that's Chinese characters, not Japanese. Or at least it, or at least it should be Chinese characters. If it's not Chinese characters, then you know, then that's just Capcom being indecent. Okay, so basically if you land an actual hit on Bat Super, you'll get the punches. Okay. Cody. I'm also curious how Cody arc is gonna be in Street Fighter V. But then again, I probably already have talked about it and likes to got stuff. Probably save that for the goddamn thing. Alright, in all fairness, I did deserve that. Now, the one thing missing is that, um... I'm pretty sure future Adon can do Tiger Kick, or not Tiger Kick, oh, oh my god, that that's Joe Higashi's move. Uh, Jaguar Kick in the move. Jaguar Kick! Yeah, I think if I say it like that, you know where I'm coming from. It's not just Jaguar Kick, you have to say it like the Adon we know and love, or more rather, love and hate, know and hate. Because Alpha Adon is one annoying motherfucker. But he's like, Jagger Kick! And it makes you want to tear your own goddamn hair out because it's annoying as fuck. Your only destiny now is to lie here at my feet. Okay, Adam. What can you do to me? I can do anything because I'm better than you. Alright, see, there you go. That's what Alpha Anon's hair is supposed to look like. It is more pink than red. Except one change they made is that they made it more of a flat top and not really so spiky. Because I guess they didn't want to go full anime with Adon's design, but why not? <laughs> I mean, seriously, why not at that point? Why not go for it? I get the damn. Okay. I don't know what sounds I'm trying to make now. It's just it it it's fucked. Look, I'm trying to take this annoying Thai kid and make him into a fucking superstar. And I don't think it's working. Fuck you. There you go. Alright. The the disciple versus the master. Who shall come up on top? 
pretty obvious who it should be, but for the sake of, uh, for the sake of, uh, reality, I know who it's gonna be. I mean, who knows? Sagat can throw me for a loop. I mean, I have not lost a single match the series. I may have gotten rounds taken off of me. I mean, hell, I think I've done an episode of this series. I think it was a Joe's episode where I ran. I ran off of the fucking game to go spit out my, something in my mouth. And even then, the game was too fucking easy. Because basically, if you want this game to be a challenge, you have to turn on AI cheating. You have to. Oh, that was actually a really good combo coming from here. I know, he's just being a dick. Oh my god, nah, now he's just gonna be an asshole. He's like, what? You're speaking positively about this game? Fuck yourself. You're not just spamming normal the whole fucking time? Oh wait, that's what you are doing. Shit. Shitty fuck. There we go, we got super. Alright, that's basically all you can do with that super against the computer is just try to combo into it, even off a block. No! Okay, I won. See, look at that. I couldn't beat him completely. Sagat, so in disappointment, I know you were much stronger than this. I'm gonna go with this regular voice, because fuck. Ah, it seems that the student is now the master. <laughs> now you understand the power of the jaguar, superior to that of the tiger. Those don't need to be in quotes. Is that so? What? You're awake, but I thought you were out cold. Hmm, don't fly yourself. You may be strong indeed, but you're not that strong. Wow. All right, Sagat, so ready for another beating. No thanks, Adon. You have surpassed me. You are no longer my student. The next time we meet, we shall be rivals and nothing more. Rivals, huh? Alright, so be it. But I expect you to defeat you again, regardless of how hard you train. Ha ha ha. Idiot, your arrogance will mean your defeat. Yeah, I think so too. Later that night. Uh-oh. Oh, does Sagat just fucking rape him? <laughs> it's no surprise I won the tournament. None of those chumps were even slightly entertaining. That's from Samurai Showdown, I think. Sagat didn't even know when I hit him. Ha, I'm the god of Muay Thai fighting. So you think you're a god? I think it's Sagat. Oh. H who are you? Akuma? I am power made flesh. Ha, just another opponent for me to defeat. What the fuck is Akuma doing here? Huh. <sighs> What power? I must have it! Who would be surprised if Adon chased the Dark Hedo? I don't know who you are, but I won't forget that ultimate barrage attack. <laughs> I will train twice as hard now. You will lose to me next time you meet, and then I'll force you to teach me that move. Then I will truly be the greatest fighter. Yeah, no. Honestly, that... Uh, you know what? That could be a good story for him in Street Fighter V. Him basically getting twisted by the Dark Hedo. Because honestly, it, it kind of just should have happened to him, honestly. Like, basically, Adon could be the next Akuma, like, in Street Street Fighter 6. Like, like after all the Street Fighter 3 nonsense, Adon could just come back with all of Akuma's power, because Akuma's old as fuck. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Street Fighter 1, and I will see you all next time when we play as... Ken! Yeah, we faced, we did uh, one half of the regular roster. So now we're gonna do uh, Ken, the second stage for all the other fighters, and finally Sagat to wrap up the main cast. So there you go. Anyway, so yeah, next episode will be Ken. So I'll see you all next time. Only fucking, fuck, fucking balls. I saw a smoky ad earlier, that's why. Shoot me dead, will ya?